Hopefully I get a shave today. Cause I'm a hairy, hairy beast. Oh my gosh. But uh, we're heading into Myson to get groceries. Uh, here's Christy. <laughs> sexy, sexy. She's married now. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Walking up the old abode. And heading down the street. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> fun. <laughs> it's grocery day in Mawson. That's fun. Hi. 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 <laughs> so, it's a, our midweek thing. At the beginning of the week, our beginning of the month, we get uh, groceries. And then in mid month, we get groceries load up both times and stock up for the rest of the month so there's two weeks left and see how it goes see what we get in. beginning of the month it's about four hundred dollars worth of groceries mid month it's about two hundred dollars worth of groceries sometimes four so we'll see see how it goes <laughs> right Kristen it didn't <laughs> Mulan. Mulan. Go home, buddy. Go home so you don't get hurt. Mm. Beautiful San Roque. Macrohon. Southern Leyte. Philippines. Let's walk to Burgess. <laughs> walk to Burgess? Yeah. She's out of her mind. I'm too fat. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. That's a little too much exercise at one time for me on this rainy day or she didn't bring an umbrella but when it's sunny she brings an umbrella because it's hot Here's the basketball court <laughs> no that's not wrapping up that's my Here comes cousin's strikes. house Nathan. that yeah. one that one. Oh yeah yeah He's related to everybody in santa roque i swear no i mean the the <laughs> The one that in Cebu right now. Ah. Okay. He he said that um that he has a uh, wedding dress in uh -huh. there if he only know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
money to. All you gotta do is fill out this paper. Basically you put your name, your sign it, your signature, the receiver, which is you, the sender, which is you, the control number, and the amount. And then you just come into any Sabana with your ID and you pick it up. And they give it to you. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's what you do, people. That's why I keep on telling everybody to use Western Union or Savannah. So Savannah equipment apps and Western Union are, I think, primarily for American accounts. So that? Uh, yeah. Savannah is definitely American. You have to have an American number. So if you're an American, you're coming here, download the app before you come. All right. Okay. After we got Savannah, now we come over and get in. Cab. Christine <laughs> and <clears throat> so the trike from our place in San Roque to Padre Burgos is 20 pesos and oh it's the other one he's telling us the other one <laughs> and then um, the multi cab is a hundred peso ride from Padre Burgos to Masson so, here we go. Had to get in another one. <laughs> mm, this one's more of a tight fit. Kind of like the other one better. The roof. Yikes. <coughs> you like the other one better? I like the other one better. Yeah, she thinks it's the same. The other one's a little bit bigger. But yeah. So this is a give or take 45, 50 an hour ride. Uh, depends on how fast he is to get to Masson. And yeah, I'm gonna highlight oh, it as we go. One so thing I forgot to mention. Trikes, multi-cabs, vans, buses, jeepneys, uh, motorbikes, all kinds of modes of transportation. If you're on the national highway, just stick out your finger and say this way, whichever way you're wanting to go. And if they're heading that way or they're empty, they'll stop for you. You can get them to stop anywhere you want and they'll take you wherever you want. And just when you get them to stop, you want to make sure to say where you're wanting to go, that they know where it is and then ask for a price. Get the price. If you agree on it, jump in. If you don't, just wait for the next one and ask them a price. But it's usually pretty cheap. So, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, the bigger the vehicle, the more expensive it is. So vans are probably most expensive, especially if they're empty. We've caught them for 30 pesos for a short distance, but usually they run about 100 to 200, 300 pesos. Um, everything else is down from there, depending on the distance you're going. So, I mean, a trike is usually 20 to 30 to 40 pesos per person. Um, the multi-cab is usually anywhere from 20 to 50 pesos per person. A jeepney is about the same thing. Everything's usually under 100 pesos, so it's, it's pretty cheap. Depending on the distance. The distance matters and the driver matters. Right, Kristen? Yep. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, just flag them down and ask them. It's, it's easy to do. Just like I said, you take your hand, you stick it out like that. Boom. They stop unless they're full and a lot of times they'll stop even if they're full just to freaking try to shove you in there uh, multi-cabs and jeepneys they'll stop and have you ride on the back um, 
multi-cabs and jeepneys have their own language too. They'll do the whole hand like this, meaning they're full. They'll do this for one person, this for two people, or they'll do it like that for you ride, one person can ride on the back or two people can ride on the back, stuff like that. It's weird. They go down like that, or they stick their foot out. If it's on a bike, that's signaling hi to other people or they're turning. So you gotta keep your eye out. So when you're driving in the Philippines, it gets kind of hairy because man, even driving short distances of like an hour, you feel like you've driven for four or five hours because you're like on edge the whole way. I mean, it is defensive, offensive driving to the max. But yeah, besides that, it's awesome. It's easy. Just grab a place and jump in and get a go. Um, transportation is very, very easy. It's not as easy as calling a grab. Um, kind of like the Philippines Uber, um, stuff like that. That's in bigger cities, not around the province where I'm at. So, yeah. But, all right, I'm gonna shut up and just wait because I'm trying to fill time because I'm bored sitting here waiting for the multi-cab barn because they're just sitting there waiting because we're not filled up yet. And they love to run a full one here. If there's two or three people here, they'll wait an hour. It sucks. I wish they'd just leave. Or they'll sit there and say, hey, 800, 900 pesos, we'll leave, we'll leave. And it's like, nah, I'll wait. I'm cheap. All right. Let's here we are in Must, along yeah. the water. Getting ready to head into Gasano, AKA Metro, AKA the Terminal. This is the terminal side of Metro, where the Spies Diner is. Yes, I know. Right, here's the fruit market. Who's the entrance to? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Avocado. Oh, avocado. I don't like that. Yeah. I was looking at the fruit market really quick to see what they got. Avocados. Like, not, uh, not in season for, for avocados. Uh oh, not in season. Ooh, that's right over there. All right, I'm gonna turn it off now. That.